Hello, this is Mike at Game From Scratch, and welcome to a completely brand new tutorial series here on the Game From Scratch channel uh, and on GameFromScratch.com in text form. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Default Game Engine. Now, if you've never heard of it, the Default Game Engine is a Lua-powered cross-platform 2D mobile-focused game engine. You can also do desktop applications. Don't worry there. Uh, basically, it was created by, well, it was created by another company, acquired by King, and is now being used internally for many of King's own games. Uh, it's completely free for you to download and use. There's no royalties. There's nothing involved. Uh, there are some caveats. We'll touch those a little bit down the road. Uh, but it's a very cool, very powerful engine, so I figured I should give it a little bit more exposure here. I think you will be impressed by this guy. Now, if you want more details about Default, first off, you can download it at www.default.com. You need to have a Google account. Um, now that's about it. So you, you authenticate using uh, Gmail servers. Um, once you've got it downloaded, you create your project on their server, but otherwise it is a standalone application you can see in action right here. It is a powerful, powerful engine. There's a lot packed in here. Their coding model is very clean. Um, there's a full level editor built in. There's full text editors built in there. Uh, texture atlas generations, etc. Pretty much everything you expect is built into this guy. Now, if this looks familiar, that's because it's based on the Eclipse IDE. Now, don't worry about that. I hate Eclipse, and I still don't mind working in this IDE, so it's not a terrible environment. And it is an amazingly comprehensive engine. You will be impressed. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about the Fold, I'm not going to go into it in this series because I've actually already covered it. Um, it's available right here at Hands-On with the Default Engine. It's a video I did back in March, shortly after uh, the Default Engine was released. It's been updated a bit since, so there might be a little bit of differences, but for the most part, you get an idea of exactly what is in this engine. And this engine, as I said earlier, is impressive. I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't already. That's why I obviously decided to go ahead and make this tutorial series about it. Now, in terms of the series, we're not going to cover Lua. So you use Lua to program in it, but I already actually did a tutorial series called Game Dev for Complete Beginners. And the whole idea behind this was to create a game with Lua and love. So the first half was teaching Lua, the second half was teaching love. Well, the Lua part is completely independent to the love part. So if you need to learn Lua or, or brush up on your Lua, check the link down below. I will link this guy. So there are these seven video tutorials here and a couple more up here. Um, for a little bit more information, optional tutorials. But if you've never used Lua before, these four, five, uh, sorry, these seven videos will get you up and going for sure. They talk you through basics of programming, uh, creating variables, creating uh, tables, etc. All the stuff you need to know to follow along this tutorial is there. So if you've got no prior um, Lua experience, be sure to check that out. Now you don't need to go into the love tutorials, completely different topic. Uh, but instead of doing this all over again, I'm going to reuse the tutorials I've already done in the past. I'll link them together into the playlist so it will um, be a little bit easier to access somewhere in the future. All right, so that is what we're going to start with. And then once we get into the series itself, we're going to cover the basics, uh, you know, how to create sprites in your game, animate them, how to have input, uh, levels, uh, music, that kind of stuff. And then we're going to put it all together in a basic game. Now, what I'm also going to do with this series is uh, have a text-based version, like I generally do, on Game From Scratch. So all of the source code, um, a text description of everything I do in my videos will be available on Game From Scratch. I will link that to each appropriate section as we go. Uh, I will also be making all the project files available to Patreon backers. So if you want to just download exactly what I'm working on as it is, it will be in the Patreon Dropbox zip um, that you've got available to you if you're a backer already. Uh, if you're not, please consider joining me on Patreon. It's really appreciated. Uh, however, all of the code um, all of the assets, everything is going to also be available in individual posts on Game From Scratch. So if I use an image, it will be available there, etc. All the code is available there, etc. So this is just pretty much everything together as an easy downloaded uh, zip file, for example. So that is what I'm going to aim to do. It is a great little game engine, as you can see it right here. We're going to jump in right away. Uh, the next part's going to be on basically creating your project and getting started, and then we'll go from there. And as I said, at the end, we're going to wind it up with, you know, how all these pieces go together and creating a simple game. Uh, now, if you're standing by waiting for my Godot tutorial, don't worry, I'm still working on that. I'm going to be creating a, a, you know, a complete mini game in Godot as well to complement my already existing Godot tutorials. Uh, but Godot is under a lot of flux right now. The guy that is, is, um, basically creating it, has been changing the interface and changing things quite a bit, all for the better, but I don't want to jump in and create a tutorial that's going to be immediately out 
you know, out of date. So I'm waiting for that flux to stop before I really jump in there. So that's why we're working on the fold in the meantime. Now, if you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions at all, please give them now. Um, you know, I'm working on these as we go, so you can definitely have an impact on the series as it goes forward. I hope this is a series you do find interesting. Really, I honestly request or uh, heartily suggest that you do give the fold a shot. It is a cool game engine, as you will soon find out. All right, so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. See y'all later.